All right, you guys, uh, I'm back to review Star Wars Attack of the Clones. Yay! Oh, and I forgot to mention in my uh, Phantom Menace review that from the remainder of the Star Wars reviews, you can call me Darth Snyder. That's my dark side name. Um, so, yeah, Star Wars Attack of the Clones picks up ten years after the Phantom Menace left off, which, okay, why exactly did we need the Phantom Menace? Why did not just start right here? We meet Anakin again, who's not played by Jake Lloyd, thank God. Well, actually, I kind of would have preferred Jake Lloyd now, looking back. We get Hayden Christensen, who's playing Anakin Skywalker now, and he's a Jedi now. He's not quite a Jedi Master, but he's, he's, he's a Padawan at this point. Um, then we see Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ewan McGregor returning, Natalie Portman's returning as Padme, uh, Ian McDermott's uh, returning as uh, Chancellor Palpatine. And the storyline of this movie is someone is trying to kill uh, Padme and the, f the former queen of Naboo. And Anakin and Obi-Wan are assigned to protect her for a little bit. And then kind of Obi-Wan kind of runs off and does his own thing, starts chasing Jango Fett around. And then Han or An Anakin, <laughs> um, Anakin um, is just stalking Padme, well, he's not really, you know, well, he's protecting her, okay, whatever, um, he's giving her all these weird, creepy rape looks, it's like, hey, I'm gonna rape you later kind of looks, he's, you know, throwing temper tantrums all over the place, like, he's still 10 years old, I'm like, have you forgot this is 10 years later, buddy, you're, like, in your 20s now, knock it off, stop acting like a 10-year-old, um, there's this whole rule about how, Jedi's can't love, which we haven't heard up until this point. Why can't Jedi's love? I don't understand that. Is it like, maybe they believe what Mickey uh, from the Rocky movies believes. You know, women weaken legs. Maybe that's the whole thought process behind it. But I don't get it. Why can't Jedi love? Even Luke Skywalker had a thing with Mara Jade. Yeah, I know about that life. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, there's just so much shit going on. Like I said, we meet Jango Fett. We have this guy named Count Dooku who used to be a Jedi and now he's part of the dark side and there's just a lot of shit going on in this movie. Now what I think of Star Wars Attack of the Clones is I fucking hate this movie. I fucking hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Fuck you, George Lucas. That's all I gotta say. Thank you for, you know, creating Star Wars in the first place. I will always give props to you for that. Um, but come on, dude. You're losing your mind here. Um, let's talk about... The good things about... I'm, I'm going to start off the prequel reviews by talking about the good things. Because there aren't many good things. Number one, I already mentioned this. John Williams' score is still good. The Across the Stars track, not as good as Duel of the Fates, but it's still fine. Um, Ewan McGregor still shines. Ian McDermott still shines. Yoda's still cool. That's really about it out of all the good things in this movie. Django Fett, I, I will admit... I used to hate everything about this movie, but after rewatching it not that long ago, I'm like, you know what? Django Fett was not as bad as I remember, actually. You know, I, I, I okay, J Django Fett's a, a little cool, so um, I have come around to Django Fett on that, but that's all the good. That is literally all the good. And one more good thing, there's no Jar Jar. Jar Jar's in this movie for like three scenes, and he barely says anything. He only says like a couple lines. So, I'm glad that happened. That's the good. The bad, everything else. Fuck Star Wars Attack of the Clones. Um, Christopher Lee uh, is playing um, Count Dooku in the movie. Why couldn't have that been Darth Maul? Why kill off Darth Maul? You know, Darth Maul should have been in Count Dooku's spot throughout the whole mm, prequel trilogy. Um, can't even talk right talking about this damn movie. Um... The lightsaber battles. There's a couple lightsaber battles. One between Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Count Dooku. That one's just fucking stupid. That was horrible. There's one between Yoda and Count Dooku, which was a little bit better, but that one was still bad. The whole chase scene between Obi-Wan and Jango Fett on Kamino and going out of Kamino, that part was actually pretty cool. I, I have to admit that. It was nice to see Watto back in here for a brief minute because I do like the character of Watto in The Phantom Menace. That was awesome. Um... Yeah, everything else, it's awful. I hate the creepy forced love. You gotta remember, <coughs> they're forcing this love on us between Padme and Anakin. And 
Anakin was like, what, 8, 9 when, when he met Padme, and Padme at the time was like 14. That's a little weird, and now all of a sudden they kind of look the same age, but obviously Padme is still much older. She's much more mature. She doesn't throw as many tamper, ta many tamper tantrums as Anakin does. Um, he, uh, the, the, the Tusken Raiders part, the part where he goes and, and saves his mother, or tries to save his mother, Shmi, and... You know, she's killed by the Tusken Raiders, and then Anakin just starts going off and killing uh, the Tusken Raiders. The first time we actually kind of see Anakin go dark, that should have been a really cool scene. The problem is, that scene doesn't exist. It's not in the movie. We, he doesn't actually show him killing the Tusken Raiders. He just, he goes out of the tent all pissed off, and then he goes back home, and he's like, but not just the men, but the women, and the children too. They're animals, and I slaughtered them like animals. I hate them. I'm like, okay. Padme at that point should have just backed off. Like, okay, you killed women and children. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk away now. I don't need your protection anymore. We're we're cool. But no, she's like, I I love you, Anakin. I'm like, really, really. All right. That what fucking sense does that make? They're trying to force this love story in on us. That doesn't. It, I don't buy it for one second. And. You know, Natalie, performan Natalie Portman's performance, I mean, I guess it's fine for what they're going for, but come on, this... No, there's no possible way that I can actually buy into this relationship. I can't. Like I said, Count Dooku, not that big of a fan. I love Christopher Lee, and, you know, rest in peace, really. But damn. Should have been Darth Maul in that spot. Um, all the Camino stuff was cool. But yeah, there's really not much good about this movie. This isn't the worst fucking Star Wars movie ever. Well, I don't know about that. The holiday special, that's debatable. But yeah, Star Wars Attack of the Clones is getting an F-. minus. I don't give many of those. Fuck Star Wars Attack of the Clones. Fuck you. Um, I hate this fucking movie. And yeah, it's December, and this is not the Star Wars movie that I want to be talking about, so I'm just going to end this review right now. What do you guys think of Star Wars Attack of the Clones? Comment your thoughts on the movie down in the comment section below. Like the video, share, and subscribe. Do it just!